Hello and welcome to Sierra Make. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to be finishing a project that I'd started a while ago um, because I found it in my project box. So let's go check it out. I was going through my sewing costume slash project box and I came across this project that I had started a while ago. It is a hood on a apron that I was going to make a little cat apron for my friend and somehow I never finished it so I'm just going to finish it and that's going to be today's video. Just in case you want to try and make this apron on your own um, I will tell you what I did up until this point. Basically all I did was I took an apron just a regular apron and I cut it off at the neck bit right there and then I took a piece of black fabric and I cut it out into a hood shape and I sewed along that edge and then this edge actually I think it was a sheet so I already this edge was already done yeah that's why it looks so nice <laughs> and then I left space on the bottom and then I folded it up and I took that strap that I'd cut off of the apron and weaved it through this hood bit. That way, when it's worn as a hood, you could tighten it or loosen it by pulling on the strings, just like a drawstring, uh, just like a hoodie. So once the hood is sewn on, I just did a quick tack, basically, to the apron, and then, yeah, weaved the apron strap through it. One other thing that I had done was I embroidered i have an embroidery machine so i just took a paw pattern and i embroidered that onto a, a piece of black fabric and i'm going to turn these into little paw pads and sew the paw pad onto this strap like that so that it hangs hangs off and then we get ourselves an adorable little paw and then i will probably add ears to this and then we'll be done with that project now I'm just going to do a stitch around here, but I'm going to leave this paw bit from that edge to that edge open so that I can flip it inside out and Sew it. See, very convenient that that's like basically the exact same, the exact size. So now they're there. All right, let's go. We're just gonna flip it inside out. Okay, so now I have a little bit of fluff here, and I'm just going to bit by bit. Pop some in here. Now that we have this, we're going to stick that in. There we go. Now, sew straight across here. Just like that. <laughs> it's gonna look so cute. Oh no. Whoops. <laughs> You're so cute, it's puppy, puppy. All right, I think I will toss some ears on this. The ears will probably go like right there. So I'm just going to cut out some triangles, four triangles and put them back to back. Sew them together and then they'll be ears. Just like the other one, I left a tiny little hole right there. So I'm just going to I'm just going to do a straight stitch right across there. There, 
our our cat ears Whee! and we're done so i'm going to show you what it looks like on As always, please hit that like button if you like the content I make, subscribe because I post new videos every Friday at 3, and comment down below what your spirit animal is and what animal you'd have as an apron. Thank you for watching! Kind of looks a little wonky, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and there's kind of a hole in it. Man.